In this video we're going to have a look at a grid and a search facility that's using uh, text boxes configured as uh, lookup uh, combo drop-downs. Not the drop-down control, um, but rather the uh, text box set up as a uh, combo drop-down control. Um, what that allows us to do is have uh, select multiple values from the drop-down. Uh, we're also going to um, uh, save the values that we've uh, selected and we're going to put them right in here. You can see we've got uh, current filter which is an area set up just below the um, freeform area set up just below the uh, the search area. So uh, we're, we're going to do that based on the client side after search submit uh, event. So we'll go ahead and do, do our search and then we'll uh, process what we've uh, done the search on and uh, fill in some information in here. So we can go ahead and pick multiple items here too and uh, I'll just I'll just do those two. I, I didn't do anything with milestone or rebate program but uh, just uh, just these three just to prove that it does work. So we've got some values in our grid showing up here and we're going to perform a search now and you can see that we did grab init1 and init2 and then we processed what we uh, have going on uh, as our multi-select and uh, we put those into buttons uh, that show up down in here and I, there's no processing on these buttons but um, if we have a look at the elements for one of these we can see uh, that the uh, button ID is set as uh, filter dash initiative. There's an on-click event re to remove a selected filter. Um, I think this is a little bit wrong, so I'll have to check that and um, and what the values, of course, are. But it, does, it doesn't matter what this is. Uh, I can fix that, and I don't have remove selected filter anyway, so that that'll do whatever you want it to do. So let's go ahead and close that. But the, the point is that we've picked up these values and we put them down here into buttons. And of course you can make these buttons look like anything you want. And let's go ahead and add another one. We'll add Equipment 2 and then we'll add uh, Status 2. Now some of these searches won't make any sense, but the point is that we're going to be pulling out uh, the values here, creating buttons on the fly and adding them into uh, the um, freeform text area. So now we have a button for init1, init2, equipment2, two, status2. Two. Uh, we can add to these to perform another search. You see these are... Uh, let's take one of these off. Well, we'd have to clear it actually. So I'm not going to worry about that. That's not the point of the whole thing. Um, and I think that's about it. So let's go and have a look at the uh, the code. So here we are in our grid. We've got our data source set. We've got our fields set. Normal stuff there. We've got our search field set. And here you can see that we've got a text box with um, lookup definitions set up. And in the lookup definitions, I've just chosen static. There's nothing special about that. But down in here, we allow multiple selections. And by, by default, um, alpha puts in a multiple value separator of a comma. So we're just going to use that. You can use anything you want, but um, and we can and they're adding auto add the separator after the selection. I've checked that, um, although it doesn't really matter. Um, otherwise, you'd have to put it in yourself. Um, so we're just going to put it in, and we're just going to clear off the last separator that's put in. User must select from the list and that sort of thing. And what we're going to have a look at now is on the client side. After search submit, we're going to pro we're going to run this uh, JavaScript function called process search. So let's go and have a look at that now. So what we've got in here is our five uh, drop-down boxes. Of course, three of them are only valid right now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to loop through. Um, that's it, that's in an array. We're going to loop through that array and process all the um, selections per box. Uh, so we're going to set up our a temp uh, variable to grab the values, and again, they're, that's just text value. So it's going to be like init one, comma init two. Uh, there's nothing special about that. So we're going to grab that from our search area. We're going to get a value uh, for initiative, equipment type, status, uh, whatever that value is currently set to in our loop, and then we're going to turn 
the uh, text. Uh, we're going sorry. We're going to slice off the very last character, which will be a comma, always. And um, then we're going to go ahead and say, if the um, oh, that could actually be pushed down here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So we're saying if temp is uh, not equal to uh, to nothing, then uh, we're going to create an array by um, performing a split uh, using a comma on the um, on our text field. So this will turn our text field of uh, multiple comma delimited items into a ja into an array that we can then loop through. So then we're going to loop through it. So we're saying if j equals uh, z for j equals zero, temp array dot temp array dot length, and uh, then we're just going to build up uh, our um, values that we're going to put into the uh, freeform section. So filter values is equal to our button stuff, multi uh, multi box fields dash multi box fields, which is going to be initiative equipment type and so on. There's our on click event, and That's the rest of it. So we just add that in, return false, uh, and that's the name of the uh, selection that we're creating as well. So we just loop through that, create it, and assign it to a div in the freeform area called current filter. And uh, I think that's about it. Nothing else going on. Um, yeah, and it seems to work uh, quite well. Now, you can, there's lots of other stuff you could do with this to clear stuff out here if you wanted to. But of course, you can always just do a clear criteria search. I'll put you back into uh, whatever you want to do. I'm not sure if that's an and or not. No, not. Or. But you can change all that in the search values. Thanks for having a look.